Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So, Rode. And I don't mean a road, I mean Rode, the audio company. A few years ago, they released this microphone right here, the Rode VideoMic Go. An ultra lightweight, ultra portable microphone for kind of on the go vloggers kind of thing, but it was crap. It sounds okay, it sounds pretty good because, well, it's Rode and it, yeah. But the build quality, that was my problem. I've made a review on this camera, on this camera. I made a review on this and it sounds good. It's the build quality that lets it down because it's all plastic. It was all plastic, all of it. One moment, please. Now, there's nothing wrong inherently with having an all plastic design, but you need to be able to make it out of good plastic. Good plastic. And they didn't. They really, really missed the ball with it, in my opinion. And that's how I got to this. Come on. My 50 mil was better than this. There we go. Can you see what's missing? Can you see what is missing from this microphone? Yes, the stand. It's mount to put it onto a camera. It is missing and it's been missing since, ooh, about a month after I made that video. Now, as you just heard, this microphone sounds really nice, but it's crap because of the build quality. But more recently, Rode have Made up for their mistake. Let me introduce you to the Rode VideoMic Go. An all new portable microphone. And this time, it's built a lot better. Now I don't have the mount on here at the moment because I wanted to show the camera, but this is the mount. Look at that. That is a hell of a lot beefier than the first. Now, yes, this shock mount here is still plastic but it's riveted on, it's rivets. Strong metal rivets. This is all metal. This is all metal. Look, I can, I can actually adjust where I want the microphone to sit on the camera. Ha! Ah. Now, yes, the actual microphone itself is still plastic. Plastic, plastic, plastic. But it looks a hell of a lot nicer than the other one does without the little bubble thing on top. Because, well, Rode microphones do in general sound pretty damn good. Actually, why don't we, why don't we test this one out? You plug it in just at the side rather than at the bottom. That is a problem. I don't like it, especially because you can take it out of the mount and kind of hold it like a normal microphone. So it would be better if it was here so you could hold it properly. But eh, you win some, you kind of lose some, and then we'll just we'll plug it into my current microphone. <clears throat> and then it sounds like this. See, it doesn't sound too bad, does it? Now, this is with my mouth really close to the microphone, which, yes, isn't always going to be happening, but when you, you know, this is a vlog microphone in my eyes, so you're going to be vlogging, so your mouth is always going to be kind of close. It's probably going to be like maybe here kind of thing, if you get what I mean. You know, you've got the camera in your hand and you're vlogging and... Yeah, if I get the mount and I just, there we go. And then what I'll do is I'll put you there. So how do you think that sounds? It doesn't sound too bad. I mean, I'm at least what, maybe a foot-ish away, roughly, maybe two feet away. Now, yes, this isn't a soundproof room, There's lots and lots of echo, which you are going to pick up on this microphone. Now, anyway, let's go back to my normal microphone. 
for a few minutes because I prefer my normal microphone. Now, this microphone has improved and improved and improved. It's actually giving us more features in a smaller design. So, this little cushiony thing here that says Rode on it feels better. It feels more high quality than the previous model. The materials, as I just said, feel better in general. And with lots of people still being on Zoom, it has USB-C. Look at that. USB-C input. And you are using the USB-C. You can actually use this as a headphone jack and monitor your audio. Meaning you can make sure that your audio doesn't peak. Now, it is not perfect at all. It does have its problems. And its biggest problem, believe it or not, is the mount. Now, you're probably thinking, Alex, you just said the mount was good, and it is. It is really good. But the bit that I'm talking about is that bit. Look at that screw hole. That is not a standard tripod screw hole. Why, Rode? Why? Is it not a standard tripod screw? Like, really? This could have been so good if you had either actually not even included it or put a little, a little tripod screw just so I can mount it off of the camera and maybe I want to have it here just out of the camera's eyesight so that I can get better audio because the closer to the mouth, the better the audio. I mean, obviously you don't want it like that, you don't want to have the microphone in your mouth, but the closer to the mouth, the better the audio. Hence why I have a lapel mic here. So why can't we have a small tripod mount? Like really, Rode, you've got so many things right with this microphone, except that little tiny screw. That's it, that's it, that's it. I don't expect it to sound amazing in this kind of room or outside. If you... Now, I would strongly advise you to get some sort of dead cat for this, whether that be third party or first party, because wind noise is going to be an issue. If you're outside, full stop, buy a dead cat. I got one from a previous microphone that I don't even actually use anymore, and it's pretty good. So, what can they do to improve? Well, they can include a free dead cat and sort the tripod mount out. Other than that, this is a great improvement over the last one. Well done, Rode, but room for improvement. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.